If you've been waiting for good news regarding a break from the relentless pest from the West, I'm happy to report that today's video has some exciting information. But unfortunately, others are still going to have to contend with impactful weather through the end of the week, including the risk of strong thunderstorms. But before we get into that information, I wanted to show you something that's currently happening in North America, and it's this very large and powerful storm system located over the Dakotas with a minimum central pressure roughly around 980 millibars. This storm brought a very dangerous combination of severe weather ingredients to portions of the Great Plains yesterday, resulting in a very rare high risk of severe weather, but thankfully this severe weather event didn't reach its full potential, undoubtedly sparing many communities and even lives. Even still, we did have some very potent supercells, one of which produced a strong tornado that impacted Barnstall, Oklahoma. I know many of you who are watching are from the United Kingdom or Ireland, which is amongst a portion of Europe which has been relentlessly impacted by rain, wind, and overall gloomy weather for several months now, so let's take a look at your forecast. The main reason for this welcomed break in the widespread rain and wind is high pressure moving in from the south, and basically what it's going to do is block and redirect low pressure systems coming from the Atlantic through the rest of the week. I can't guarantee everyone a rain-free week though, especially the further north and west you are in Ireland and the UK, but it's certainly going to be an improvement from what we've been seeing for months now. This is reflected nicely on the latest 5-day precipitation outlook, showing little to no rainfall across most of Ireland, Northern Ireland, England, and Wales, with the exception of some more widespread light to moderate rainfall in Scotland and the Northern Isles. A period of more stable weather will also be likely across other parts of Europe, as you can see here, extending from parts of Iberia to the Nordic countries. As we head through the coming days, all this activity that we're currently seeing extending from France to Western Russia will gradually work its way south. Speaking of which, we don't want to overlook those of you expecting some inclement or potentially dangerous weather through the rest of the week, so now let's take some time to discuss that. For today, Tuesday, May 7th, a lot of areas have already seen some strong to severe storms, especially in places like the Balkans. I personally expect a slightly more robust event tomorrow, with explosive thunderstorms possible over the Balkans. I opted to include a level 2 risk for Bulgaria, where Cape values may be highest, so make sure you watch out for some intense thunderstorms in that region. As far as the flood threat goes, places outlined in red have the greatest risk. For Thursday, this inclement weather will get even more suppressed to the south, with any strong to severe thunderstorm threats most likely being confined to Italy, Albania, Greece, and Turkey, with flooding possible as well. By Friday, similar areas will remain at risk for thunderstorms and heavy rainfall, but I have added a level 1 to interior Portugal and Spain due to a weak area of low pressure possibly sparking the development of thunderstorms. Lastly, my outlook for Saturday looks almost identical to Friday, with another round of storms expected in those same places. Up to this point, I've covered the rest of the week in detail, so before we wrap it up for today, let's get a quick sneak peek into early next week. Unfortunately, the new week may be characterized by the return of the pest from the west, especially after Sunday, so that's going to bring rain and wind back into the forecast from Ireland and the UK all the way down to Iberia. It's too early to know exactly how this is going to play out, so make sure you stick around for upcoming weather reports on the latest developments. Now to bring this to a close for our photo of the day, we have this picture sent in by Daniel from Eastern Romania, and this is actually from the thunderstorms that we had developing out there. So thank you for submitting that picture, and remember that you can also submit your own, and the links are in the description as always. If you enjoyed today's weather forecast, make sure you subscribe and leave a like. And for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.